Welcome back to our next Onshape tutorial. In this video, we're going to take an object and we're going to show how to create sketch planes on the surface of that object in order to extend the object even further. To do this, I'm going to go ahead and create my uh, two inch square on the front view. So there's my rectangle tool, click, click my opposite point, and I'm going to enter my values to make it a two inch square. I'm going to finish that sketch and I'm going to go ahead and extrude it two inches to get a cube. Okay, so here's the starting cube I want. Now let's take a quick look at what we're going to make using a more technical drawing here. So this is the view of what we want to do. We're going to add a circle on one side. We're going to add a square on the other. And up here, what we're actually going to do is we're going to make a, a hole here, um, but it's not really drawn on this picture. Well, we are going to make a hole on the top. So let's come back here. To do this, I need to create a sketch plane. Now this is relatively easy if you have a flat surface you want to um, draw on. All I'm going to do is click on my sketch and then select the side that I want to start on. So let's get that circle first. I'm going to click on front. Now notice here it has created an outline labeled sketch 2 all the way around my shape. It happens to line up with the front sketch or the front plane too. But if I rotate to the side, here is actually the plane I created. Here is the original front plane. Okay, so it's actually created this sketch 2 plane on the surface. So let's get to my front view and we're going to create a center point circle. Now I'm going to want to get as close to the center as I can, but notice I've got no clue, nothing on the screen saying, hey, here's the center. And having that kind of indicator is helpful and saves me some steps later. We can kind of trick on shape into giving us that by saying, what are we lining up with for a center? So we're going to line up with the left side and as I go down the left side, ah, there's an indicator of the center of that left side. And when I move out, I get a dotted line. But it still doesn't tell me where the center is this way. So I'm going to do the same thing along the bottom. There's my center point indicator. And I'm going to move up. And now, since I've identified the centers on both sides, it's telling me this is the exact center of my shape. So let's click. Now I'm going to create a circle. And if I look at my drawing, it needs to be one inch for a diameter. Here we go. Diameter of this is one inch. So I'm just going to type one, enter. Let's go ahead and finish my sketch. Now, my drawing doesn't tell me how far to come out. But if I look at how far across the shape is here and look at how thick it is, I can estimate that it's about half um, the thickness as it is width. So I'm going to come back here and we're going to extrude that circle. Instead of one inch, we're going to do 0.5. And that seems to kind of match what we were aiming for. Okay, so previously I created a sketch plane by clicking sketch and then the surface. But I could also click the surface and then sketch and it'll do the same thing. So now let's create that square. We need a one inch square centered on this side. Now, normally when I draw this rectangle, these two spots indicate corners. But if I use my drop down menu, I see there's this center point rectangle. And I'm going to do the same thing I did with my circle. I'm going to find the center indicators on two sides and then come here and there's my center. When I click now, the rectangle comes out evenly all the way around. So I'm going to click and I want one inch on each side and then I'm done. Let's go ahead and extrude that and based on the drawing it's probably half an inch just like we did with the circle. Okay so now we need to draw the hole. So let's go ahead and get the sketch plane there and we're going to do a circle again and I'm going to use my center point indicators and one inch circle and finish the sketch. 
Now I'm going to extrude, but I'm going to change something here. Every time we've extruded, we've created new parts of the object. I want to make a hole all the way through, so I'm going to remove instead. And I'm going to click that hole, and now see the arrow goes down, and it actually gives me a bottom surface. That little kind of darkened circle there is the bottom of the hole. Now I want to make the hole go all the way through. I know the square is two inches across, but I can also select the end type and say through all, and it'll just make that go all the way through the entire object. Okay, so that is how you can create some sketch planes on the surface of an existing object. And we've also looked at two ways to create that plane. We've looked at um, to a different way of creating a rectangle. And we've looked at a way to use the extrude uh, feature to make a hole in the surface. So, thank you for watching. Feel free to hit that subscribe button to keep up with any future tutorials here at MythBadger Videos.